Hey, this is Jenny Jones. Uh, I am back with another uh, digital hack tool here on the Digital Growth Hack Club. Hey, listen, if you like what I'm putting out, if you're, if you're learning and getting some of the ideas, please share, like, and subscribe. Um, I can go on and on. There are so many tools that I have and there are so many other tools that I've combined with other tools that that's why it doesn't take me that long to put out different videos because I have so many different tools and there's other hacks that I'm using. And I just want to share those. So if you like any of the, the things that I'm doing, again, you can always use the links below to kind of support me to kind of keep me going and buy me a cup of coffee to show your token appreciation. <clears throat> Listen, I want to spend a few minutes with you. Not very long because this tool, this tool is it does what it needs to do and it gets out of the way. Um, this tool is called Crow which is currently now on AppSumo. Uh, I think it only got a couple of weeks left, so you might wanna check into this tool. Um, it is a very, very, uh, it's a very good tool. There's a lot of tools that come out and they try to, they try to maybe do uh, too much sometimes. Um, this is not that tool. This tool, it tells you what they're gonna do. It says, hey, this is exactly what we're gonna do. Um, we don't try to do more or let's get down what we what we need to do first, and then um, we'll start getting into other stuff. So this is a tool, again, called Crove, C-R-O-V-E. Let me take you through it really, really quick, and I'm gonna tell you probably what's the best entry to make if you are looking at possibly picking up this tool. So um, this tool is called Crove, and what they do is, it's kind of like a cross between, um, um, a PDF and or, you know, some type of Adobe file and uh, some of the, uh, the cross between Adobe file and some of those signature um, programs that they have out there. So they're kind of mixed in together. Um, let me just show you really quick what it what it does. Uh, a lot of these that I do. So this is the template, right? There is a these are my templates. I've already created a few in here. And I don't want to share that with you. It's just a template where I've the ones that I've done and some of the private documents that I have in there. And, and what you can do is you can use the template gallery. Okay. Or you can just create your own from scratch, but let's look at the template gallery and I just want to show it, show it to you um, really quick. So this is the template gallery. And basically what you do is this is saying, these are some of the forms that they already have in there. Um, and you can use these forms. Let me show you exactly. Let me give you a good one um, that I, that I use sometimes there's an awful letter. There's, um, let's look at some of the legal letters here. They got legal letters, which I do a lot of non competes. I do a lot of non disclosures and then they got HR letters. These are some of the types of letters that you're going to most likely lead. And so what they'll do is they'll give you these and you can create a, a duplicate of them. Bonus announcement letter, performance warning letter. These are a lot of good letters that you can create. So let's look at a uh, let's look at a non-disclosure or NDA document here. And so what happens is once you click on it, this is what happens when you open up this form. This document has one, two, three, four. It has four areas, but you've they've created this document with four distinct areas where information needs to be loaded into it. So I'm gonna just take you an overview of what happens when a person opens up the document on the other end. So when they open up the document on the other end, they're gonna see these areas. So they're gonna see date of agreement. They're gonna click on that. They're gonna choose a date, so on and so forth. Let's choose the, what is the day, the 29th? Uh, the day is the 30th, so we're gonna pick the 30th. It's the month of the agreement. We're gonna go to December here. Just kinda wanna show you what's gonna happen year let's go 2021 place of agreement let's go um california here because that's where i'm from let's put that in and then we're going to go next here so what you're going to do is you're going to go in and fill out all of these different well let me just go ahead and fill out a couple of them for you uh name of the organization i put acme which is <laughs> corp right we'll go acme corp Registered address, one, two, three, any town, um, USA. Let me go representative, I am J, right? I am JJ, 
state disclosing party. I'll put CA. Then we'll go here and we'll go next here. Receiving party. I'm sending that to JJ2. Father of receiving party. I think this is as they made it. I think this is kind of the way they made it. Uh, sometimes you have to put that there. So I'll put my father here. You can change this by the way. So I'll put my father, JJ, right? Age of party, uh, 55, right? Receiving address. Um, um, I will put one, two, three, four, any town, USA, or I could skip it. Right. And I just wanted to show you what, ha what happens when it all fills out details, name of the witness, uh, John Doe address one, two, three, four, five, any town, USA name of witness two, Jane Doe. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, any town, USA. All right. So that is submit. Are you sure you want to proceed? All right. So what's happening is this is what the person gets on the other end of the documents. And so what happens is you can actually download it. And this is, let me show you what it looks like once you download it. So this is what happened here. It automatically filled out these dates and forms. So entered in as a California agreement, 30th day of July, I mean, December, <laughs> where I get July from 30th of December, uh, 2021 disclosing party between JJ at one, two, three, any town USA undersigned as father JJ age 55 in some countries you require all this. And I think the way they built it, they just kind of built it in like that, but you don't have to use it like that. Whereas, right, so what happened is all this is the other legal mumble jumbo in there. And then you have the witnessing parties, so on and so forth. Witness one, witness two. So what did we just create there, right? And so let's see. Okay, as we go back into the document, let's take a look at the document a little bit closer. So here's what happened. Right. So this particular document was already created and you can upload your template. If you have a template, you can upload your template and then just put in these, these actual, um, signature blocks, right? So each, everything you see here in yellow was created from over here on this screen over here. So let me give you an example. See, I want to see, I want an initial that goes here, right? On initial block. So let me create that initial block. Right, let me add a new variable. I'm gonna call it initial, right? I'll just call it uh, initial right there. Okay. All right, so let's find that block. It's unused right now. Let me take that block. I wanna put that block right here. All right, oh, it is right here, it landed right here. So that is the new block that I'm using right there. You got to put the cursor where I think it was over there, but I put it in. So that's the new block, right? And so what you do is every last one of these blocks, right? They all have different areas where they've been created, wherever you want the document to be signed or touched or anything you need to have done to the document you add those blocks, right? Signature of disclosing party. You add those blocks there. These are blocks. You name them. If you want a text block, you want a numeric block, you add those blocks. Then what you can do, right? You can, um, you can go and you can actually share the file, right? So somebody can actually get the file on the other end. And once they get it, they're going to see. So here you can click, uh, I want a publicly fillable. I want them to be able to see it. I want them to be able to fill it out and they can download it on our end to make their own copy. But once they fill it out, it's going to automatically show up here in my dashboard. This is a very powerful tool. Let me tell you how I use it the other day. Um, I had a client and um, she says, well, listen, I don't have, I, there's no way I can do an e-signature. I said, well, listen, you got to initial it and at least sign it or print it. 
you know, and get it back to me. They said, well, I don't have a fax machine. I don't have that. I said, listen, I'm going to send you uh, two emails from my Crove account. And it says, all right, great, great, great. So what I do is I sent, she had to have two different documents signed. She had to have a part A signed and then she had to have a part B signed, two separate documents, but one went with the other. So what I did is I uploaded the document into Crove and what I did from there is I created these yellow blocks inside of Crove where she's the signed initial and where she was to sign, um, sign the document. I put these blocks in. I only had to add four blocks. I sent it to her via email. She says, oh yeah, I got your Crove emails. I said, when you go in there, you're gonna see these, these two blocks and you're just gonna sign them. One's gonna be your initial and one's gonna be your, and one is gonna be your signature. Once she did that, that was it. And she hit submit and it came back to me and I had to sign copies on my side. So again, this is one of those tools that should be possibly looked at to save some time. Definitely if you're in a real estate, um, uh, area uh, as I am, if you're any other type of legal, uh, areas, or you may need some type of documentation where somebody signs or they fill in, right. Or these could just be forms where a person could do that. And then you can add a DocuSign at the end and you can add that, that you can upload this into a DocuSign or something like that. This is a very powerful tool. This is exactly what it does. It, it's, it does exactly what they say they're going to do. You, again, you can go to the form, right? And then you can go in and you can make these changes here. You can move blocks around and so on and so forth. So this is how the form look. So when it shows up on their end, only thing they're doing is they're filling in these forms and you're going to get a complete sign uh, form at the end. And it's going to go out via email. And it's going to come back. And this is where you can see where your document has come back and so on and so forth. All right. And you can see how it looks on their side, how this form looks together. Okay. So that's how it looks when it's, it's complete. All right, and this is how it looks. When they're gonna get it on their side, it's exactly how it's gonna look. And they fill that in, and they hit next, and they're gonna hit submit. And then they're gonna get download. They can download it on their side as an option. This is a very good tool, should be looked at. I'm trying to get the founder on to talk a little bit more about the vision of the tool. Hopefully we should be able to get that done in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we've been playing phone tag, but we should be able to connect. Hopefully you all are doing well. Please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. I'm doing a lot of different things, a lot of different hacks. I think I'm gonna hack this tool with another tool. And when I say hack, not break it, meaning that I wanna combine it with another tool to be even more productive. So again, like, share, subscribe. Hope you all doing well. Have a good, happy new year. Take care, goodbye for now. Thanks.